Megan Brown and the Mansion by Anna M. I entered the mansion breathing heavily. I could see nothing in the dark place. Then I thought to myself, this is only the Brown's old house. I remembered the day Meg died. She was a girl with long, brown, straight hair, my age. I kept walking, and who did I see in the light of the window? Megan Brown. I froze in fear. A brown rat ran by me, and I heard a blue jay squawk from above. M -m -m Meg? I could hardly speak. My eyes were wide, full of fear. Meg's old brown eyes were now like burning flames, making me feel like I was shrinking to the size of a baseball. Then suddenly, I fell through the floor. I sat on the cold floor, and I saw a rat scurry across the floor in front of me. That same blue jay fell on the ground from above, dead and motionless. The hair on the back of my neck stood up when I heard a door creak open, and Megan came through the door. Go. I was numb all over. She came towards me. Hello, Lelena Clarkston. For some reason, she was mad at me. I've come for revenge. You never came to my funeral, and we were best friends. I, I'm sorry. I was too sad to come. I didn't want to see your dead body. I still mourn over your death. I don't care. Now prepare to die. I was scared and confused. I finally realized that I had to run. I ran while Megan followed. I ran so fast that I felt like I was flying. I spotted some light in the distance. As I ran, I could feel Megan's eyes burning into my back. I got to the window, which turned out to be a fire escape, and broke the thin glass. Megan was trapped in the old abandoned mansion. I was finally free, out of that nightmare-like place. I ran back home and decided to never go back there again.